Baron, good evening. I leave this house an honest man. Now, yeah, then let me be the first to congratulate you. I don't think you handled that so well. I could have induced him to stay in a minute by offering to double his 30 pieces of silver. Why didn't you? You can't sell the water without some sort of scientist endorsing it, can you? I dislike and distrust men who are always offering to resell their honor. Bomb's a fool. But you've always said that was the sort of man you wanted. No, I was wrong. What I want is an idiot. Either a thorough scoundrel or a complete idiot. And I don't like scoundrels. They're too competitive. But idiots are hard to find, I should think. Oh, no, not in the scientific world. So let us pray, darling, that Providence sends us an idiot. Mademoiselle Darfeuille? Whom shall I announce? Professor Topaz. Professor Topaz wishes to be announced. What shall I do? I'm 17 minutes late, and I apologize. Professor Topaz, the bell on the tour, la tour. Professor, I'm sorry to tell you that my... How do you do, sir? I had the honor of having your son in my class. Until this morning. Did you expel him? On the contrary, it was I who was expelled. I take it you were dismissed for refusing to improve his marks. Well, that does seem to have been the chief trouble. It, uh, it's been a day of, misun of misunderstandings. I, I must confess I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Sit down, Dr. Topaz. Will you have a cocktail? Hey, a cocktail. Well, I'm not a drinking man, but uh, this being somewhat of an occasion, I should be glad to. Thanks very much. Now tell me, are you particularly anxious to go on teaching? Teaching? Why, yes, of course. That's my profession. Hmm. May I ask, uh, what do you hope to earn by giving lessons as a freelance? I know of one freelance uh, tutor who earns as much as 1,200 francs. A week? A week? <laughs> no, mademoiselle, a month, unfortunately. Professor Topaz, our little talk has convinced me that you have become the victim of excessive mother love. I? My wife was unjust to you. I wish to repair her offense. I have an offer to make you. I manufacture a curative water. My firm desires to improve upon its medical formula. And at this very moment, we happen to be looking for a scientist whose name and whose brain we can use. And do you think you could rise to such an opportunity? I am, sir, the author of uh, First Steps in Chemistry. Uh, will you be good enough to read the introduction? Permit me, madame, uh, mademoiselle. Uh, begin there, on page three. Biscuit, sir. Biscuit. This is splendid. Uh, Professor Topaz, before we talk business, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Indeed, sir. Uh, to begin with, have you a family? <laughs> Alas, no. Uh, I'm quite alone in the world. And women. What about women? Women? I mean, have you some uh, wife? Uh, or what not? No, 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 sir. No wife. And, and no what not, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> well, then with whom do you usually associate? Well, I sometimes see an old army friend. He, uh, he's become a waiter in the cafe now, poor chap. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, Providence sent you here. I'll not take no for an answer. I engage you. Your salary will be 
4,000 francs to start with. 4,000 francs? A month? Monsieur le Baron de la Tour, la Tour, I see through your little plan. Sir? You can't take me in in this fashion. I may be a simple man, but I am not blind. I refuse your offer. May I ask why? Because it is not in my nature, sir, to accept charity. My dear professor, charity is the furthest thing from my mind. You see, not only will I derive a handsome profit from the medical formula you invent and endorse, but I shall also be using your name as a slogan. The beverage shall be known as sparkling topaz. Ah, splendid. Now, no more nonsense, Professor. You're my consulting chemist and head of the Latour Chemical Works. This unaccustomed drink has made me a little bit dizzy. We'll draw up a contract immediately. The war... the war interrupted my researches. You'll be able to resume them now. Yes, we expect a fine medicinal formula from you. Have you, uh... Have you any particular disease in mind? No. Just a general laxative, tonic and health builder for the school children of the Republic. Oh, that is something worthwhile. A few hours ago, I was a complete failure. And now I'm... Consulting chemist at 4,000 francs a month and creator of sparkling topaz. Sparkling topaz. Doesn't he know you have been selling tap water to the whole nation under his name and with his endorsement? He knows nothing. He fancies we're distributing the sparkling water invented by him. He's in there now, pottering around with improvements on his formula. Here's his latest creation. If it's any good, Topaz assures me it does amazing things to the kidneys and other vital organs. Good. It should be. It costs 40 francs a bottle. Oh. Mm. Yes, I'm glad you like it. Of course, I prefer our own sparkling topaz at two francs. Come and see his playground. It's a veritable inferno. Professor Topaz, this is my friend, Henri de Ferby. He's a very prominent politician. Oh, how do you do, sir? Ah, Professor. I, I never met any politicians, but I've always admired them from afar. Oh. You've seen them at their best. Why don't you two go outside where you belong? We were quite happy without you. Uh, permit me, sir, to show you a drop of the water formerly manufactured for the Baron. Thank you. Will you uh, look through there, sir? Notice the uh, abundance of animal life. Promiscuous little devils. Seven million in every drop. Now, now here is a drop of the new water. Distill three times, containing phosphates, iron, and innumerable vitamins. Like a diamond. Thank you, sir. I will now give you an even more fascinating proof. I have here some pieces of prepared paper. Now, watch me, gentlemen. I will dip one in ordinary water. You notice it turns purple and exudes a most unfortunate odor. 
That is due to its acid imperfections. Now observe. 